Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. Uh, first things first, we gotta go look for some eggs. Woo, it's pretty good stuff. So there I was, just kind of minding my own business, checking on some of your potties, Hank Kelly. Big nail right here. And I noticed here we got some eggs in the back. It looks like the female is cycling once again. So we have one egg here. I'm not sure what condition the second one is in. Looks pretty good. Second egg over here. Voila. Check it out. This is my cleanup crew in the tank. So the isopods in the substrate. These are white isopods. Um, they're really great to have in any planted tank. They're pretty good at avoiding fertile eggs very beneficial at breaking down waste and such so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put these eggs in an incubator super exciting a nice new clutch of 2017 europlatus and kelly eggs so hey guys one thing i gotta say is that when you're working with this many animals this many tanks it becomes really hard to maintain this standard of live area, natural backgrounds, etc, etc. So yeah, I mean, I really do enjoy the fact that most of my enclosures, at least for the adult animals, have live plants, really nice wood background. I do like to make my own, but sometimes I cheap out with it. Once in a while, there's a product I go to instead. So guys, this enclosure here is going to be housing some Europlatus henkeli soon, or henkeli, however you want to pronounce it. As you can see, there's no background. I have a quick fix for that. So rather than making my own, which I know will look really nice, there is a product that I go to quite frequently and it looks very elegant and it's a quick fix for this solution I'm working with some tight spaces here so the product I want to show you guys today is the Zoomed forest tile background and so I got one here this baby right here makes your tanks look super elegant uh, we're gonna go and put this background into the tank and show you what it looks like Usually what I like to do with these backgrounds is take some S1 silicone and smear it along the back behind this and have the tank turned horizontally so that I can put something to weigh it down and let the silicone dry so that the background stays on properly. See what I mean? All right, so basically I'm just gonna go in here. You really don't need much. It's just to keep things in place a bit, right? And there we go, That's that should be sufficient. There we go. Now we gotta just get the background on, which is the fun part. Voila! Now what I like to do is take a stack of books. And what better books to use than a stack of reptile books? And weigh them down. That way there's just some even weight distributed on the background I'll show you guys that and there you go voila now you can see the background is on there and getting ready should be ready to plant to do whatever you want later so really you can see that these are awesome backgrounds you really can't go wrong with them like i said there's a cork background and a forest which is more of like a just standard tree trunk style bark background i'll show you what the cork looks like i have a few in some of my uh exoteras where the fans are so finally here you can see a europlatus fantasticus enclosure that contains a zoomed background so this is the cork version of their background as you can see it's quite elegant it looks great um keeps things looking very natural Obviously the live plants help a lot. This ficus is super overgrown. I'm gonna do a video on trimming terrarium plants and taking cuttings as well. But yeah, definitely an incredible addition to any natural terrarium um, if you aren't up for making your own background. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed.